A6 Super Blast 2 is a neutral daily trainer capable of handling every type of run, but it's designed specifically for long runs. I'm Brandon with Running Shoes Guru. I've run over 80 kilometers in the Super Blast 2, and this is my full review. This is the original Super Blast, and over the past two years, it's developed a cult following. The reasons why it's so popular are because it's lightweight, it's very well cushioned, and you get the exact same midsole foam as in the more expensive racing Metaspeed series. We've had to wait two years for the Super Blast 2. <gasps> the good news is that it's the same price as version 1, but the bad news is that it's picked up 0.4 ounces or 11 grams of weight compared to version 1. The upper is an improvement over version 1. It feels more comfortable and it's also more breathable. The flat tongue is semi-gusseted, so it doesn't slide around during runs, and foot lockdown is superb. You also get a reflective heel pull tab at the back for safety in low light conditions. The fit is true to size, but it's got a narrow forefoot and toe box, so it's best suited to runners with low volume feet, which are narrow. The Super Blast tube is such a rare running shoe because it feels like a super shoe, but it doesn't have a plate in its midsole. And that's what sets it apart from the crowd. Most running shoes which are above 40 millimeters in stack height need a plate or some other stiffening device in its midsole to create structure and enhance the stability. But in the Super Blast, its foam is not soft or squishy, so it doesn't need a plate. This new FF Turbo Plus midsole foam feels very similar in softness to last year's version. And even while wearing both versions at the same time, one on each foot, it's very hard to tell the difference. It's got a medium firm ride, which feels very well balanced and just right. The Super Blast 2 is an incredibly versatile trainer. Slow paces above 6 minutes per kilometer feel great, as well as paces faster than 4 minutes 30 per kilometer. Marathon pace feels comfortable, but I do find that when I push it to threshold pace or faster, it struggles to hold it there. We've had to wait two whole years for the Super Blast 2, and while there are some small advancements like comfort and traction, overall this is not a significant update. So if you have version 1 already, you don't need to get version 2. The Super Blast 2 is one of the most versatile trainers to be released this year. It's got plenty of cushioning, it's got a stable ride, and it's got a four-foot rocker which makes it energy saving. It also has a surprisingly low weight for such a tall midsole, and this gives it the ability to effortlessly pick up the pace. The outsole is the biggest improvement. There are now ridges on the rubber lugs, so it has more bite when it comes into contact with the ground. Traction is also decent on wet surfaces now. There are no more holes on the outsole, so stones don't get trapped in it anymore. If you are also a fan of version 1, let us know what you think of this new version down in the comment section below. You can also read my full review on Running Shoes Guru. Thanks for watching and please remember to like the video and subscribe.